Hi, my name is Reverend Joseph Boyd. And I know many of you are reeling from Wednesday afternoon still. Uh, we actually had a really nice gathering on Wednesday night uh, to talk about the riot at the Capitol building and inside the Capitol building uh, and protest the latest election. And there were uh, a couple comments um, that I heard uh, repeated uh, a couple, a few times uh, in that conversation. One was some people said they were not surprised that this happened. Uh, and the other response was, uh, this is incredibly shocking and disturbing. Uh, I think both um, are completely true. Um, I think it was shocking and disturbing uh, to see a mob of people with guns and bombs enter what many of us have discovered is a very special site for many of us, even those who don't consider ourselves patriots on, on, uh, on our sleeve. But it is. Um, I think that it was shocking and disturbing to see um, devastation of something that does matter to us, a symbol of our democracy. And also, I think it, it isn't surprising. Um, it's not surprising, I think, that when we feed hatred and a sense of disunity in this country, that actions like this can brew and erupt. So I invite you to join me this Sunday because I think some of that is up to us. I think that we can choose whether we want to continue to feed the flames of fear, the flames of hatred, the flames of disunity, or if we can choose another path, a path of imagination, a path of healing, and a path of love. I think there is a way to live that out. And I think the only way I know how to live that out is with all of you in community and with our nation as a community and as our world as a community. So join me this Sunday where we can actually talk nuts and bolts about how we might actually go about doing this in our daily life here in Youngstown, Ohio, uh, across this country from wherever you're viewing us across this world. Blessings to you, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday.